Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Andrew. We're back again with Don Shen. Welcome back to the show, Don. Great to be here. Here for, as part of our ongoing security series. So since we have Don here today, I thought I'd, I'd start by asking, you know, we hear a lot about different deployment modes and we hear mostly about reactive versus proactive. Can you clarify a little bit what that means? Yeah, yeah. Th those are really the important distinguishers of how DDoS in particular is deployed, okay, or DDoS defenses are deployed. And the choosing the mode is really largely based around the business goals that an organization has of what are they trying to protect and, and the scale of it. So one mode is proactive where basically the, your defenses are on all the time and you have basically an inline tool that has 100% visibility through packet analysis. Okay? And the other way is a reactive mode where you're leveraging the flow data that's available from the edge routers and switches and doing a metadata analysis to try to detect anomalies and then insert the mitigation device only at the times that uh, that you've detected a DDoS attack. Okay? And so there's, there's benefits and trade-offs for both of them. Proactive, for example, is the highest resolution detection capabilities. It's commonly used for real-time applications like, like voice, video, or gaming, or protecting critical things like uh, DNS infrastructure. The challenge for that is, is that in large networks, it's a little expensive because you have to have one-for-one -one capabilities. The reactive mode on the flip side, as I mentioned, is using flow for analysis that's already built into the network and only putting mitigation in line during the t attack times. So what they get to do there is to oversubscribe the mitigation capabilities and build a defense that's more cost effective. Now, the downside to that is the resolution of the flows is limited so that you miss things, right? As well as the response time is much slower. So Don, what does A10 do to support this? Yeah, that, that's a great question, right? So no matter in any condition, something has to mitigate, surgically mitigate the, the attack traffic, okay? And so with A10, we have the mechanism for being able to scale systems to modern attacks as well as for being able to surgically distinguish between um, attackers and, and bots you know, by, by tracking 27 different kinds of indicators or behavioral indicators, right? And, and that's for the defensive portion and proactive or in the mitigation side. Then from a reactive perspective for, or the flow analysis perspective, we partner with the, with the industry leading companies, right? That are taking fresh new approaches to how to do this flow analysis by leveraging virtualization and using cloud, you know? And, and this creates a substantial better performance than the legacy systems for flow analysis that are pretty well established that uh, uh, are struggling to be able to keep up with the defenses against things like the Internet of Things or the DDoS of Things that we talk about so frequently. Well, thanks, Don, for coming on and for shining a little light on the differences between proactive and reactive deployments. We really appreciate it. Great. Thank you. And with that, I'm Andrew. I'm Ben. And we'll see you next time.